main menu and let's get our game started. Okay. Does it auto split? Yes, it does. So I'm not going to be perfect, you can't already tell, like, this is going to be a long run if you know what's going on here. Load removers, of course. Hmm. So this is Delifish, or Jellyfish Fields 1. Pretty simple, I mean, the tricks in Jellyfish Fields 1 aren't too bad. Uh, we're just gonna see what we can get. I mean, of course, this isn't gonna be the best run I'll ever do, but it's gonna be something It's actually pretty fun if you ask me I almost didn't make that. Oh I'm gonna get these and then Okay, so there we go not bad Oh, I was close. My jump spacing's bad. Just keep that in mind. I mean, not that anyone's gonna care. But okay, here we go. So now you want to stay. I don't know what happened there. Okay, this is like. The hardest part of Jellyfish 1 is that, pretty much. And the Dilemma Skip. Well, I forgot about the Dilemma Skip. And I didn't practice it after I did my little walkthrough run that I did. <laughs> it's not letting me do the second spin. Like, you could see I'm pressing the button, and I'm just not getting the spin. So yo, I'm just gonna do that. This game is weird like that though. Uh, like whenever I'm trying to activate ILH, half the time uh, if you don't get it within like three tries, which that's me. Almost got the gate. If you don't get ILH in like three tries, then typically uh, it won't work. Okay, Dilemma Skip. Great, Dilemma Skip. Because, like, the lasso just won't come out. I've noticed that, like, it's not necessarily dropped inputs. The game just doesn't let you use certain things after you do stuff sometimes. I drowned! I almost drowned there. Okay, Dilemma Skip. Let's see if we can do this. I'd be surprised if I can. It's all about jump spacing. See, like, the second jump- after I do my second jump, I just can't use it. Well, that time I did. But you can see, like, my inputs and then pressing the buttons and stuff, so. It didn't let me. I, I pushed the button. I might have done it too early. It's the only thing I can think of is that I did it too early. Alright, I need to space my jumps out better. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope for like under like an hour 30 but you never know it's just jump spacing here hey I got it let's go that was like the fourth try I don't know my jump that's like being new to rehydrated right there that's what all this is okay
Now it's time to go outside and go to Squidward's. Nice. Nice and that's nice. This isn't too bad. And the run I learned in a day. Like, if I mess up, then I'm gonna say like, hey, I learned this run in a day. So. Hey, let's go. I just realized my mic was muted that whole time. I don't know what I don't know what much else to say, just I just realized my mic was muted. For whatever reason. But I got dilemma skip at a good time. I mean so far it's not bad. I don't know why my mic was muted, but I learned the whole run in a day. That's pretty much why I said, and like I got Dilemma down pretty good. And I had to practice jump spacing since there's a lot of like demanding for jump space type things. I think this way is much easier. As I miss it, I think that is much easier. So you wait until it go starts going down. Okay. Okay, not bad. This is the first ILH segment in the run. I don't know how my ILH is gonna do this run. Let's go. Okay, so now ILH time. Wow. So I'm just gonna let it descend. I'm gonna like have to wait. No, I don't. Nice. We did it. Okay, come on to the ledge, go up, down. This part was the part I struggled the most with. Just because I struggled with the ILH and not getting the hand and just keeping the ILH good, I guess. I don't care about getting that cutscene right now. I could care less about that. So you have to get the wheel. I was going to focus on not getting hit, but... You go up to this building. Okay, this is where we get to go. We get to do this now. The weird button thingy. So you drop, and then you're going to stop eventually. So like, you can see I stop. So we're going to get over here, hopefully, touch the ground, down, 
up, down. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can do this. I thought that would happen. I mean, not too surprised. The best thing to do is just get in the box. I thought. So I'm just going to go through this section, I mean, like you just saw, I'm going to mess up. No, okay, he didn't hit me good. Weep. Okay, time to hit the ground. We already got all the collectibles, so we don't need to worry about any of that collectible crap. We just need to worry about getting to the end of the thing and getting the spatula. It's gonna be our biggest focus. Just gonna be getting there. I mean, you could just. Oh, that's what they usually do. He drifts down into the box, right? Yeah, that would make life easy. Except. Okay, I did that. Wow. And then we can drop back down and go in. I believe that there's still another wheel or two in this level we haven't gotten. Yeah, I see the wheel. I knew that there was this wheel, at least. Please, 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 please. Okay, whatever. And then uh, that means we have five more... I think there's three inside the lighthouse, or three, there's two in the sea needle, there's one inside the other, the lighthouse, and then there's some other stuff. That was kind of weird. <laughs> what just happened? That was probably my worst segment in the run, by the way, right there. Unless the vertical bull boost stuff is the worst. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Why does it keep spawning stuff? Okay, I'm going to go way over here. That was accidental. Wow. I feel like a new spot. And then this is the last floor? Yeah. Get all these shinies. So I have enough. By the end of the run. Okay. Then he helps us. The button. I don't know if you need the button or not, but lighthouse is done. Amazing, amazing lighthouse is done. Okay, and then we go to the sea needle. That's an easy. Oh, we barely had enough shinies. Look at that. That's like if I didn't get the bottom, then I would have gotten not enough. Okay, this part's kind of bad, but oh well. I suspect that we're gonna hit 50 minutes at like Jellyfish 3, let's see. Half the time I don't even land on that. So now we need to lasso. 
Let all of them disappear and then you fall. You have to let it all disappear and then fall. That's the way I learned it. Okay, let that guy disappear. Fall. Oh wait, I messed up. So I need to do that again. And then we could just fall down again. Switch back to SpongeBob and we should have everything we need. Okay, here we go. Get the spatula. Go back, switch to Sandy. Okay. This part's not that bad. This is actually one of the easier parts in the section, I think. Got a mad chuck. Okay. Simple. Now we get to do this spatula, which isn't that bad. Well, I'll make it not seem as bad as it will be. Okay, yeah, this is the right part. The part where you're supposed to land on the little metal thing. Then do this. I don't know why it's like glitching so much. I'm gonna go for the sock. I mean, I'm probably not supposed to, but... I need to like save myself with that. What's happening? Why does my camera keep like glitching too? Nice. Okay. Now I believe you warp to learn Sandy's moves. Yeah, you, you warp there. We have some weird physics things that happen apparently. So. Yeah, right here. You could just get IL and then do this, what the heck? Okay, so now we have all the steering wheels. We're gonna go back to Dilemma Sandy. Okay, okay. Wait, I forgot, I have to, I have to do like a manual split here. I keep like tabbing out whatever I'm gonna have to figure out how to do manual splits this game because this game's gonna be a pain to do manual splits with just like you just find a key that you're not using in the game and then eh. okay jellyfish 2 let's do it We're in that dark section now. Nice. Downtown's one of the longer sections in this run too, so. Let's see how this goes.
Okay, hmm. so now we get to drop. Drop as we go down through the light wall. Use these things to just drop down a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can't get it without jumping. That's what just happened. You couldn't get it without jumping. Why is there a split named Sandy? Oh, Robo Sandy. That's right. Duh. I'm gonna like press the window key and then I'm gonna go click on the split every time. So now I believe you do Squidward. And you get one of the socks from Patrick. I don't know how many socks I have right now, but. So we. So then, what you do is you just bash, sock. I collected an extra sock because I went through the one in the uh, what that one area, but maybe even ex like two extra socks. I don't even know. It's always better to be like safe than sorry though, so. Here we go, we got our we got our sixteen or our fifteen. Time to do Robo Sandy. My Robo Sandy's not the best, but it works. It's so fast and like the camera angle makes the arena seem so small too. And they removed the little detail with the Poseidon that was in the middle of the arena. Big rip. But like a lot of the new time, new viewers of this show don't know what the Poseidon is. If you think about it. She hits me. But now she's going to jump. He had to wait like... You want a single jump with Patrick, uh, ideally there. Don't want a double jump because he's gonna, uh, delay everything. Come on. He is getting too close, I don't know what you're saying. Here we go. It's very difficult to, like, back up from her whenever she does this kind of stuff. Can you not? Wait. That should have just... Whatever. Okay. Time to go with this. Jump. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. I'm going with my mouse like whenever I just tab out and I have to like do a scene. So now you go to Sandy's tree dome. Right, right, good timing, nice. Oh, I died.
Nice, the Tartar bots are like 10 times as difficult to beat in this game. How did I, where did I get hit? Okay, there we go. We've destroyed all the robots. Is that faster? I don't know if it's closer to walk. Because we're saving the load time, but we have to do the menuing. I think it is because of the ball, but. It's the Mermelar, or it's the uh, Goo Goon time. I was having troubles doing that. <laughs> okay, now we get Larry and we have to talk to Larry. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is really not the right one. Because I think it was like front. Like front left away. I'm gonna memorize this uh, eventually, but I think it's like front left, and then the one that's away from me, not the one close to me. Right. And then it's the one that's uh, to the right. And then I think, yeah, it's the one that's like close. I believe. No, that one's gonna point there now, right? Okay. So now we get the Mrs. Puff Camper or, uh, Save the children. Get the sock. Okay. Now we get to make ourselves to the castle. Do this is some jump spacing tricks, by the way. please okay I got the right stuff now I forgot bubble buddy's gonna like pull me in okay time to open the gate jump spacing here important or that yeah I'm sucky with jump spacing in this game And see, can I do it on attempt number two? No, I can't. Okay, attempt three is just me going and not doing that. Pretty much. Attempt three is just me going and doing this like I'm supposed to. Which, I don't know how much time that this loses, probably 10 seconds, but it's better than missing that a million times. Serious? Okay, get this. 
Okay, we need to do this. The cookie monster guy, that's what I'm gonna call that guy. The big guy that's in the water, he's the cookie monster guy. Okay, so we made it up here. Here's what you do now. Hold up. Well, not that. You still may have got the checkpoint. I got the checkpoint. Oh, wow. I didn't even... Okay, so now we get to do this. Drown, alright, alright. Same thing again. Alright. Wow. Okay. This is like one of the more difficult tricks in the area, too. Sock, destroy. Okay, so now we get to stand on the purple clam. I don't think I got the button. I could I could be wrong about that. I still don't think I got the button. Yeah, I didn't get the button. Okay. I thought I got it that time. Okay, that time I got the button. So we drop down, get the spatula. Yeah, this is not as free as it, I thought. Jeez. Okay. So now I believe we could just TP back up here. Or no, we just death warp, that's right. I had to take a minute and think about that. This platform can just... Eh. Okay, here we go. Lots and lots of shinies. Hopefully we got all the shinies there. I really, I really don't like that because of that. This is where we're going to lose a lot of time, is this. Because you have to, you have to learn jump spacing pretty much. I thought I was gonna like miss that or something, so. <sighs> yeah, see, that's the issue. What I try to do there is I try to like get it to fling me up. Half the time it doesn't want to fling you up, so that kind of sucks, but the times it does.
Okay, so here we go. <laughs> that time it just... Wow. Okay. So we'll let the water rise. Okay, we got it. That was like a minute, but oh well. This is going to be another full minute because we have to do that and jump again every time we miss. Okay, so we wait. You get one attempt every time that the water goes up and down. Or two if you're really tight like I am. Like, like you do that right. But this is a jump spacing thing and I wish, or wait, I didn't even do the sock yet. I forgot to do the sock for a second and I was like, oh wait, there's a sock here. Uh, he got pushed. He got pushed all the way. The cave is just annoying, by the way. What does this do? Thanks, I guess. See, like, I want it to fling me forward. They say that there's always an issue where it's like, brings you down. I want it to fling me forward. I really don't know the jump spacing. That's what's really getting me now. Let's see. Life's easy. Not so much. Fall like that. See, it just flings you forward. Boom.
Can this just not happen, please? Okay, so we need to wait. It's about to go down, so I can just jump down here. This one's simple enough. flings you away. This jump's like too tight for me. Makes me... I wonder what that jump's like. It's any better. My guess is that this is not possible. Yeah, that's... That's real rough. I don't like this jump timing, the jump spacing in this game. It's just awkward. I think I'll just not space jumps properly. I think I'll just go through this part. Can I just, can't I just space jumps from here or something? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna go like all the way around. I thought I was going to get caught out by the goo. There was another really tight jump that I just found out you could do, do a vertical bull boost for. It was simple. So it looks like we're reaching 50 minutes in Dream, by the way. Okay, so this part's simple enough. Okay, we got the box. You you do pure backwards essentially. That's the easy thing to do. Pure backwards. Okay, we did that. In this game, doing the stupid, the bungee thing that they do in the original game is ten times easier. Okay, so what we do is we would 
Face it out, nice. Why does someone dies during this animation? Okay, here we go. Uh, I forgot that it was this side. I have backup stuff just in case everything my life fails. I believe I'm supposed to fall down there and then uh what Slip and slide under the pier. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Because you collect the spatula from Mr. Krabs. And then I believe that you just go back to the main area. Okay, very nice. Okay, so swap. Nice swap. We have to get the right one. Kill the thing, go to Larry. And Larry's like, you get a reward now. And then we do a CCA for the last spatula in this area. First CCA of the game. Uh, where was Gulagoon? I, I completely forgot where Gulagoon was for a second. Okay, so this part's simple. When I warp back to hub, I'm gonna split here. Okay. That was a lot longer of a split than it needed to be, by the way. Okay, this part's easy. What you do is you just go up and over. I'm not going to do lag warping. I know what lag warping is, I just don't want to do it. I'm getting grabbed. That's a yikes. I went too far up on that ledge. Okay, let's do this. If that trick will work, I mean, I'd be pretty all right. Come on. 
Here's our sock. All right. It's not bad. It's because of the invisible wall. That's what makes that so difficult. Then you have to jump space here. Okay, here we go. Oil skip time. It's the way I do it. Let's see how oil skip goes. Fall falling off? I think so. This is one of the longer segments in the run, too. Okay. Here we go. It's difficult to do this oil skip, right? Oh wait, I forgot. That's a free, that's a freebie right there. Let's go up here. I got hit by it, I mean. That's improvement, I guess. Can I just not? Close. Okay, let's do this. That was weird. Okay. I got hit by the side of that one. Hmm. There's oil skip. Oh wow, we got it. Time for Patrick. Nice. Okay, finally we're done with that part. 53 minutes. Now we get to do the super bounce part, which 
may or may not be more difficult. And then we get to do Squid's Dream and then Sandy's Dream and then we're done with Dream. What just happened? That's a really weird jump to, like, you have to really know what you're doing to get that, like, consistently, I think. I stopped it, but then I didn't. Okay. You can't adjust your camera during that, by the way. So, like, you want to aim your camera a bit down. That's why I missed it, because I didn't wasn't able to adjust my camera down. What am I supposed to do if I get that? Nothing. Go back to the first place and then do this. Okay, I'm gonna keep my camera angled down as to promote that. It's gonna do that during Super Bounce. Hopefully. If I can do this right. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Easy enough to do it like to play the game like this to be fair. If you miss, you could just platform up. Wow. Okay, it's time to do Squidge Dream. Hooray. I found out I wasn't spacing jumps right here, and that's why I keep missing trumpet. And also, you have to spin in between the jumps, not at the last after the last jump. I'm just used to doing that jump jump spin, not the jump spin jump, I think. Am I not aiming at the right part? I 
think I'm falling off the note because I'm waiting too long. Look, I just landed on the root of the note. I'm not getting trumpet jump, wow. Okay. Feels like I'm gonna like fall, that's why I'm always like jumping so early. It's just weird timing. I hated doing this level in casual playthrough, by the way. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the the level like I'm supposed to do it since I can't get the trumpet jump. Okay, so this part, simple. When the tram when the tambourine's coming towards you, you double jump, do that. So now, easy enough, kind of. If the notes aren't are evenly spaced out, because look at like where the note is. Why was there a note that just fell back there? Well, what is happening? What is, what is this? Sorry? I'm sorry? What, what was that? Did it like hold me back? See, there's just like a token. It keeps holding me back when I jump for some reason. Really? Hmm. 
Yo, that was good. Okay, Sandy's dream. Hooray. Time to do aisle crap that I don't want to do. I got myself caught up thinking that it was the original game and that I was doing that weird big nut thing or whatever. Okay, let's go. Let's get the slide. I didn't get it, did I? How are you supposed to get that spatula like they do? Okay, nice, we got it. I want to get the slide, but like have it going forward like this, not the backwards crap that I usually get. And then we're going way over here. Okay, well, let's go down here. So now we just have to start falling. We can't just, we have to start falling. Just let's just let it happen. It looks a lot faster whenever you don't move. Like it feels ten times faster when I'm not moving. Hmm. Okay, so now we get to destroy this. I'm gonna use this cactus and go down. I thought. I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do. Where is this thing? Well, at least I can go down. Uh, that was so bad, but at least I can go down. Woohoo, I'm going down. I'm still really far up, aren't I? I'm almost to the building. I mean, it's not that far up. Okay, I'm below the building. Okay, so here we go. We're finally here. We hit his head, and we f we started falling because we hit his head. Whoa, that's gonna make me fall or something. Okay, fine. Get the spatula. There, we got it. Amazing. So I should have one. Yeah, we have one left. Okay, so it's time to split and then go back in. Okay, now we're on Drain the Lake. This part's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of bowling shots. Then on this one, you have to just do this. Haha, <laughs> we got it. I'm s
Okay then. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I got stuck in the thing. <laughs> Die. Okay, so now we get to go here. How did I not die there? How is this okay? It's considered out of bounds right there, but not below it. Okay, it's grinding time. So I have to go get the wall. We're gonna go over 6K, we're gonna go like 6.2 all right here we go we're at 4.6 that's like three cycles right that's like two more yeah this game's physics engine I think is kind of like it's a bit too smooth to me because like uh well i just have frame drop because of that the, heck? the physics engine feels like really 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 smooth and it just feels weird to me i don't know okay so we're done grinding there this does not feel like the 60 frames i was getting a minute ago Okay, so now we get this. We get the sock. It's nice and simple, just a jump spin, jump spin. Wait, I don't want to do that. I want to go up here and do it like this. Because that that's kind of a weird thing to do. And this is down patch, so like, uh, you know. Yeah. My favorite thing to do is just like, even if I'm not going to use it, just do this. Bubble buddy, yeah, everyone's trying to help. Nice. Slap him. Let's go slappers. He's mad. He's mad that I hit him. So then you start like summoning jellyfish out outside of you. drop down hit him this boss is, is like mega easy because you just do the same thing every time that's why I think it's so easy it might be for other reasons I mean it is the first boss after all in the game like mini boss I guess well I got hit huh I think this run is gonna get like an hour 35 or something to probably under two hours or I hope at least it's because my jump spacing was really bad in like every part wait I just you can recover that that's that's a real thing Okay, why don't we just do, wait, wait a minute. You can't just do CCA and whatever. It's probably not faster anyways. Whatever the heck I was thinking, it's probably not faster anyways, so. 
gonna split there. And then we're going to go to uh, on top of the pineapple since we don't have the other warp unlocked yet. Now before we do Mermelair we have to do our vertical bull boost. So we go into this corner and we just fully charge. <laughs> I got bubble buddy right as I did that. I think that one would have missed anyways that I was doing. This jump's also kind of tricky. It's a very uh, annoying jump. How do I get this consistent? Uh oh. I landed, but nothing happened. Really? gonna be like that Come on, I wanna, I wanna get this segment done with, hello. You can't do that, okay. Typically I, I remember like the very tight jumps, you could do that. Can I please just have the jump? The one time whenever I chose to spin, I got it. <laughs> this is annoying.
So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do this. Bro, why are these blocks so slow? Okay, fine, I got it. <laughs> I need to refine that, but I got it. Okay. So we have to do the CCA thing in this part too, for the buttons. We don't have to do it, but it's a good idea. Because then we would just have to do ballroom. And no one wants to do ballroom in this game anymore. Or not right now, at least. Some people probably do, but... It takes a lot of time to get down, like, when to do your bash. Okay, here we go. First section nice and easy, second one kind of sort of the same. Thing just feels so slow. Look at how weird Mermaid Man looks still. I still, I'm still one of the guys who thinks he looks eh. What? Okay, attempt to worked. Time to die. Okay, come over here. Time to die again. Okay, go over here. Really, that just happened? I'm, I'm expecting this segment to be like the best segment of the run, to be honest. Okay, dead. Talk to Mermaid Man, get the spatula. Now we're gonna do the death warp thing. It's really weird. I don't know why it works. I mean, no one knows why it works, but. You just kind of fall. Wait. And then this happens. So then we could just go all the way back here. We're gonna come back and get that later. When we get to the top of this area, this uh, next area, we're gonna do ballroom, or we're gonna do uh, the CCA thing. So I don't do the sneaky thingy. I do this. That's kind of weird. I didn't know that that was what happens if you don't get it. Okay, so I want to... See, you got a vertical bull boost. And I think it's the same thing here, you just... That's whack. We're stuck. Oh, 
<laughs> Stop shooting off into the distance, please. Why is it fling me that way? I'm just going to keep like turning the camera a bit more to the right every time until I get an angle that works with this full boost. I died. That means I get to go all the way back to the bottom. I don't want to do that one. The first one's easy. The second one, nah. So you can see like you have to do it in this one. Where was that mode take me? It was this it was the way I was facing. Okay, so I have to pull from this side to get something worthwhile. You can get you can get yourself uh, stuck. I forgot how this dumb trick works. I'm a checkpoint. I'm getting the checkpoint because I'm gonna die. Okay, so it just goes through that corner. Right when I said I was gonna die, I didn't die. Okay. So we're going to go and quickly just do the uh, CCA thing. Stupid. Okay, and then it's like I have regained complete control of the system. So get this. We gain control, so here we go. Now we get to go and do the prawn. Okay, it's prawn time. So you, you just have to jump over his little thing twice and then he stops. Let me do this. One, two, three. He's going to stop. Okay. 
Okay, number three. So you get one, two, three, four. Okay, get prawn spatula. Anything else in this area? I think we should be missing two. So then we're safe to go back to on top of Shady Shoals. And then Splitteroo. Rock bottom. We probably missed a whole lot by this point, but it's whatever. It's all right. So I don't think we've missed anything because I think you need 50 to get into Kelp Forest. He's not very scary. Talk to this guy, he's like, I gotta say, bubble buddy. Jump on this trampoline, I think that's how you activate the spatula, but I don't know. So, what happens if I die? What is it? Where does this take me? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. To be fair, it could have been worse. Okay, get the ball. Go like this, boom. Museum time. So you get Sandy, and you you have to do the ILH stuff in here too. So we're at an hour thirty in this. Not bad. I thought that game like an hour thirty would be really free, but I guess not. Especially when you have bad jump spacing like what I had. Okay, the whole system's done. Grab the saw. Then come over here. I usually I like to do it off the one with the sleepy time. Then we have to re reinvent the wheel. I forgot whether or not I was supposed to go up there, so I just did it. Okay, so it was here. Now we can do this. This is the dumbest thing to ever exist. I just walked right through the lasers. Why why does the game let you do that? Okay, so now we got the two socks and the spatula. We're back to this. And we exit. Okay, now we get Sandy. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. I did, oh well. Okay, ILH was really difficult to get off this every single time when I've got when I've done it. See, like, I press the button, 
And even though I didn't grab the ledge, the lasso still didn't come out, so it's kind of confusing. Okay, I'll, uh, for some reason I wasn't getting it correctly off that platform, so I went, I go over here typically. Looks like I have to go a bit higher up here to get over there, but. I like to go over there just to get it correct. And then I do this. Now uh, how I'm supposed to. Okay, get that. Now you get the swing along. So we're gonna get the spatula, yep. We're just gonna make sure that we do that right. We're gonna come back for the slide, don't don't worry, we're coming back. Okay, do this. You get the sleepy time like attacking you right when you grab it. We almost got attacked. That was so funny. But so bad. Hey, Jerry. Okay, so now we get Sandy. I don't know exactly exactly how to do this, but I do know I do this. I like doing it over here just because it makes it easier to like last. So I think that's what you're supposed to do. But what the? I I must have just done the thing wrong. So we can. Can already tell it's kind of not good. It's not even difficult. Like I, it's basically what I would call swing stalling. Oh, I stuttered there. Get the spatula. Now we get to find the way the way that plankton is. Where's plankton? He's way over there. So that means that we get to go this way. Okay. Uh, which way do I go? I forgot. I do this laser first. So let's just get up here and do the laser. Then we do the second laser. Nice and easy. And then for the third one that's over here, we dip down to get the sock. So there's a sock. I don't know what the chalk guys are doing, but I know what I'm doing. I'm doing this correctly. and then you die so you can skip the cutscene. Nice. Okay, so now I 
believe what we want to do is come to the uh, across the trim to darkness. And we want to make the exit. I mean, we probably could have done it from way up there, but. Guess for this, we could just do swing along. Which I still don't understand why we don't get sandy and swing along, but. Ball, go. I'm gonna do another ILH thing. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but okay. So we're going to walk up here, around, just to get the thing. Okay. This is so slow. Okay, so we got the box. Uh, now I have to listen to the sound. I didn't pay attention to my lives. That's the easiest thing to say. So right up here, now we can double jump spatula. So we should have one left. Yes. We just do this again. I don't know why we do this so much, but we just do this so a lot. Well, I do know it's because that's how you get the memory reset, but... So what happens when I collect the artwork and it thinks I had six art pieces? Okay, split... Reno... Cut forest... Look, hand. That should be like hand disable. It's the same concept. Kind of. Not really. Because we didn't store anything before it. Okay, so this is a simple just death warp. Easy. So then we have to swap at the bus stop. I don't really know why. Apparently you can like soft lock or something. If you don't swap here. Okay, I win. Turn to Mermaid Man. 
Hooray, we got it. What are you doing? Lay down. Lay down, Jakey. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'll, I'll know what you we are doing here in a minute, but what'd you do? What'd you do? My dog came in here. He's like struggling with his uh, legs, but. You have to go outside? What you doing, buddy? Okay. Here. Now we just have to jump around the invisible walls. Okay, there we go. I think that's easier to just go to the Tiki Roundup. And I think it will save time. Who knows? Check what you do. Okay, do this again. Because this trick for some reason just keeps appearing. Okay, got it. Nice. 60. Time to go back to and do Sand Mountain now. This is a split time. Okay, we're at Sand Mountain. We're actually almost done with the run. I just circled around it. Sand Mountain. Oh yeah, this annoying jump. Hello, my most what are you doing? Go, go out there then. Open it. Just nudge it. Open. There you go. I thought the hook would never turn. For real, I was like, that hook isn't turning anytime soon. Okay, let's go. So we get this, then we get the sock, and then we duplicate socks and get three socks. And then we go into Guppy Mound. And have 5,700 by the time we get to Graveyard. Or not by the time we get to Graveyard, but you know. Make sure nothing's on us. Okay, nice. So we need some shinies. We don't need a whole lot, we just need shinies. I don't know how many more we need. 
Oh, we need a thousand. Okay, we're at 5,000, so we need like 700. 600. That jump's kind of tight, and this uh, slide's smaller than what it used to be. Okay. Oh, we almost have enough. We got a lot of shinies for doing Guppy Mound. Okay, I heard the little button noise. Okay, yeah, we have enough. We have enough shinies. Hooray. Okay. So now we got our stuff we need to get in this. again that's a really short segment okay let's do it um. okay this is where like we probably will lose time and we're probably not going to get under two hours this run but Jump spacing is key to getting a lower time. Like, that's why I messed up in this, is because I didn't space my jumps. Okay, now we get to do this trick. Whatever this trick is. Good box yourself in. Oh, nice. First try. It's really not that bad. Okay, ten more spatulas and then we can go to the final boss. Given that four of them are... So there's six more in this level. I think that's how it works. Chucky um Chucky um. Oh wait, there's uh, five more in this level. Yeah, that sounds right. Because there's seven in each level and I've gotten one. Okay, make sure nothing's attacking me when I really weird that slide is odd okay so this part's simple it's the bull boost part that's gonna really get me in this area pranked I died at the very end of that does that reset my underwear no it doesn't That's weird. That's the weirdo jumps. Simple. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Why does my camera go that way? the heck? Okay, I believe we have enough. Because we only need to get one crab spatula. Okay. 
Okay. Checkpoint. Bungee time. That just looks weird. Like, whenever you look at one of those, like, petri dishes or something, and then you see, like, the residue crap, that's what that looks like, to be fair. Almost missed that. Okay, here's the hardest part of the rest of the run. Well, this probably the hardest part in the run for me. Oil skip's not hard, it's just inconsistent. This part is probably the same, but you know. There's two vertical bull boosts. Both of which I'm not a big fan of, but... See, like, it dropped it. I can't get the second one. I can't get a second one. Okay, vertical bull boost number one. I was about to say nice, but then I missed the jump. So here's what we do. I can't see anything in that. That's what's so difficult for about it to me. I just can't see anything. See, like, I'm super close. It's that jump. I want to get this. I want to get this, please. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory.
see like look at this Okay, we got that. Now let's get this. Can I please? I, I know why it gets stuck. Can I please just like have this? Okay, I'm tapping it. Tap. Tap. I'm gonna try for two hours, 20 minutes. I know I can get that. Can I please just have this trick done? Can't I just do this? Yes, I can. And then you just get the trampoline. Okay.
Isn't there supposed to be a trampoline? Trampoline, hello. I like how it just like changes to the right texture whenever you jump on it. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm failing at this. I've been here for like four minutes now, at least. Just trying to do this trick. That could have been good, but it wasn't. Like every time whenever I get a good shot, I always am like wanting to take a break and like calm down and stuff. Come on, I, I just seriously don't know how to do this trick. That's all it is, is just this trick is kind of bad. Like, hold up. I'm not, I'm just going to do something really quick. Okay. Hold up, I'm just... Uh. What, what is this? What's up? Uh, I'm just missing this vertical bull boost. That's the biggest thing that I'm doing wrong. This is the first trick that I've really like struggled on. Well, skip was meh. And then I was like, this trick. Just because the ball pops out too fast. Oh my god. Too much left? Is that better? Or is that too far right now? That would have been good. I'm just having troubles with this trick because I'm... This is the first run, and whatever. You gotta jump and spin. Jump and spin.
Well, that happened. Because usually what I see people do, I don't see them do this. And then I just fell. But that's kind of weird. Like, in all the tutorials I've watched of the trick, I've never seen anyone do that. This one, I'm just not getting the wall sometimes. Okay. Because whenever, like, I jump spin, I just, like, was, like, riding it. Okay. Yeah, almost, I almost had, I've gotten it before. Yeah, that's the hardest part is just landing on it. Okay, this is just the... How do I angle this? This is this is to me the hardest trick in the game. Oil skip is not anything compared to this. How do I how do I do this? Uh, it's just sad. How do I get on top of it? I got a small one. You knew you use his nose to split the cannon diagonal, so his nose should be like right. Like that. Kind of. That would have been a good one. Just, I didn't jump because every time whenever like I do one and it gets good then I'm like I want to I'm not prepared for it yeah, I almost I almost have it it's kind of close uh, yeah see like I wasn't prepared because I took my hands off the controller because I was like this one's not gonna do it and then the ones I say that aren't are always the ones that will This trick. How do you? This is just difficult for me. Wow. See, I'm just having troubles with this. How do you... How do you get this consistently? Because, like, it's pretty much just pixel perfect, or... How do you do this? Like that, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> so now I should have all but two, cool. So now I get to go to uh, Patrick. Uh, yeah, I will get, I'll get better at it. This is like the first run, so. Oops. One, two, 
three. Wow, you got him, Patrick. So now I'm gonna go, I don't know if this like saves anything, but. Okay. Get spatula. Get the ball. Go to the chum bucket. Oh wait, I forgot we can't go that way because we don't have IP. Oh. Okay. I don't do the I don't do chum bucket lab very optimal yet. Cause I didn't do any of the taxi glitch stuff. This is like the first run I've done of rehydrated. Also, I forgot to split at that last part, so. Uh, right now I'm at two hours and 13, which, eh. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna do the first two on his hands. Then I'm gonna drop down and I just keep doing this. The ones on the side are kind of annoying for this, but. Yeah, this is good for a first run. Uh, I speed run the original one as well. Like, if I, I think that the original one was like what started me and then this one was just kind of a second part and so for the first one, or for the original game I have like a 120 and for this one it's going to be this since this is the first run I'm doing. I'm just going to keep doing this. This is fun. This is really fun. But the first run of the original game that I had was like a, a four hour run. Because some of those tricks and I, or uh, the cruise boosting stuff's kind of difficult. Kind of like that bowl thing. Because, like, on my first run of the original game, I would get that same stuff I just got, but every single part, not just one thing. And so it was really bad. But now an hour 20 for me is not too bad. But like after learning this and seeing like how easy some of these tricks were, for, or most of the tricks per se, I thought that like getting an hour 30 or an hour 20 was really free. But I guess not. <laughs> That's the easiest thing is like, I thought that an hour 30 was like the freest thing ever. Uh, sponge warp? Like the, the lag warping stuff. So I don't think I've done any of the lag warp stuff. Just because like, uh, I don't want to do the lag warp stuff yet. I tried doing the hub uh, lag warp thing and it just didn't work out for me. I attempted it at least uh, 200 times for like two hours and I didn't get it a single time. But that was also because I didn't know how to do the sponge warp either. And I, and I was trying to do the lag thing, but... That's, that's not too bad. I'm not even gonna do the bucket, I'm not even gonna do this optimal, I'm gonna just do it like this. Until like it really saves time to do it better, and I'm really needing it. I'll say if that hit me. Okay. Here we go. up here. Let's get that guy out of here. 
Oh, he exploded in air. No. I'm gonna get hit by that. I died, too. I died. I died on that. No. Can they just not? That's... Wait, what just happened? I'm gonna get hit by it again, I think. Well, I got hit by it, just not how we would've thought. Okay, Roboplankton. Mommy bro. But like... My jump spacing is just really bad too with this. That's another thing that really holds me back is like the jump spacing. So like it was Goolagoon Caves, the Shady Shoals spatula, like it's all just because of bad jump spacing that I wasn't able to get any of that. Because it's just really awkward to like get proper jump spacing in this game. Compared to why I like doing the original where it was super easy and stuff. You could pretty much do any jump that the guy did or uh, the speedrunners did. This game is kind of like you really have to wait uncomfortably long pretty much for me. Or else I'm just doing it too late and I have to, I have to do it earlier. I think it's just the muscle memory and getting it all down. And I just have to do something new. Okay, we're done. When does it stop? The auto splitter doesn't stop? Alright, see ya. Okay, yeah, that's not too horrible. Okay. 